what's up guys reefer nyc back with another video and today we're gonna be doing something a little different um going to be replacing half of my scape specifically this side with a new scape um just because i want to um this side i got a little bored with this side i'm really happy with got a little flat then got a little arch up there this side just looks like a pile of rocks but um, I just ordered some rocks um, and played around with some scapes and going to show you how I do this as far as getting those corals off and putting them on the new rock and I'm just trying to not disturb uh, the tank too much. Um, but obviously there are steps to do this without, you know, fully messing up your tank. So what you want to do is have some fresh water made, some salt water. Um, you're going to want to do a water change after you've disturbed a rock that's specifically on the sand. Um, but first, I'm going to take off all the corals that are on this rock. Most of the corals are really easy to take off, um, except for the zoas. Zoas are fine. They're not really expensive zoas, so if they get tossed or whatever, I can chip them off or you know put them on a plug or whatever and glue them down. The the other corals like the ganis and avaporas. They're on just like frag plugs, and I just pluck them off, so it's really easy. I'm just gonna put it on to this frag rack. Um, there's some SPS, I just pluck those off as well. Um, and majority of those rocks are, are loose, so not too worried about um, that as well. So I made a quick little scape with some Carapsy rocks here, and I have some Marco rocks, and just gonna replace that section with some really cool, like overhang style kind of scape. Um, but stay tuned, we're gonna do that soon. Um, but otherwise, let me take these corals off, put them on the racks, and we'll continue on from there and see what loose rocks I have so I can like take them out, put them in buckets, all that kind of stuff. Stay tuned, we're gonna take the corals off right now. All right, so managed to take out majority of the corals as you see there on top, the Ghanis and SPS and all that kind of stuff. Took one of the rocks out, uh, and put it in this bucket. It has all my zoas and whatever on it. I'm gonna scrape the zoas off, put it on the new rock or some plugs. That should be fairly easy. Um, there were some nuisance kind of like zoas in the rock, so that's why I'm trying to take out this big rock. Um, obviously, there's like Gatorade zoas. Um, if anyone's looking for Gatorade zoas, I've got a ton of them. Zinnias, I'm gonna scrape those off. Um, but yeah, pretty simple. I think there's just two more rocks there. Uh, and we should be good. Uh, what I'm gonna do is take those rocks out. Actually, I'm gonna turn off the tank uh, so it does not, so the return pump doesn't run dry. Uh, I'm going to do a water change on this side, put the old rock in the old water, and put in the new rock uh, once I have everything swapped out. So let me do that. Go to do, I'm gonna take these rocks out, put some dirty water into a bucket. Then once that's all set, I'm gonna put the new rocks in and we should have a clean slate. Actually, I'm gonna clean the back too. It looks a little, a little cruddy in the back. Stay tuned, we're gonna clean this whole section up. Bear with me. Alrighty, took a bunch of rocks out on that side. Pretty much took all the rocks out. Did a quick little water change, sucked up a bunch of the, the detritus and all that kind of stuff on that side. A little bit cloudy, I think it's just from the, how my camera shoots, well not my camera, my iPhone. Uh, but otherwise, really liking the new scape. Lots more surface area to do some stuff. Uh, a lot of swimming room on the bottom, a lot of caves in the back. Um, as you can see, it's pretty, you can see the whole back section now. Sorry, I don't have my uh, lens kit on, but I'll do some better filming in the future, but that's pretty much it. Gonna top off of water, put the corals back on the rock. Um, I guess we'll continue from there. We'll just put the corals back on the rock, get the tank running again, and see how it looks. And I'll have the orange lens back on this. Stay tuned, we're gonna get this back into place. All right, guys, so the scape is finally in, cleared a bunch of the frag racks. Move some corals around. This is not the final placement of the coral, so just messing around with it. This is about two days after I put the scape in, so I let things settle in. No die off, no bleaching of any corals. Um, everything's looking really good. Ordered a cleanup crew of like snails, 
just to uh, replenish this tank, but also my other tank as well, and also combat any diatoms that may pop up uh, when adding new rocks into the scape. Um, I probably won't give an update on that as far as like if this sand's brown or anything, but uh, if that happens, I'll make sure to document it and uh, put it in my next update video for this tank. Um, but yeah, for this scape, we went with Carib Sea Arches. I only got arches. Um, this consists of, I'm going to say three or four arches, which is basically one box. Um, but really loving this scape because now we have, you can see in the bottom, some like swim through, very open. Um, it's not just a pile of rocks, which it was before, uh, but now we have like levels. So now we have the sand level, mid level, and a little uh, level in the back. So we have three levels where we can place corals on, which is great. Um, I was checking social media and just like inspiration for places of where uh, I could put rocks in, just like how people stack their corals. So I'm most probably gonna do like softies and LPS towards the front, bottom front, and then the SPS towards the back um, and just fill in that whole space. Uh, similar to this, um, we have the LPS here, mid-range, a mix of LPS, softies, whatever, and SPS in the middle, and then top over here is all SPS. Um, I was considering doing, bringing back the bridge, but I do like the open, the openness of the scape. Once I clean up all the corals on the sand bed, it should look really nice. Um, I do like that uh, I started putting some of the hammers and frog spawns on this ledge. Looks kind of cool. I might put the rest of them on there just to get them off the sand bed. i um, gonna remove some of the rocks here um, just to open up this space. Uh, and yeah, I'm really liking this scape. It gives me a lot more room in the front once I remove all the corals in the front. There's gonna be a lot of sand and negative space, which I went in for this tank. Um, and then I can move some of the the higher end toadstools that are in my small tank into this tank once I rescape the smaller tank. So we're gonna put the yellow Fiji, the weeping willow and all the kind of stuff in the back of this tank. Either in the back or the front, we'll figure it out. Um, but really loving this scape, very easy to put together. Uh, didn't glue anything down. It's all held in by the weight. Um, like I said, about four arch rocks and we're good to go. Um, I think one piece was a broken arch so glad that that just fit in that section. Um, how I'm holding down the corals, is just pretty much super glue, um, no putty or anything like that. Um, thinking about putting more zoas on the bottom, gotta figure out the clam placements. Um, but I think once I have things more mounted on the rocks, I have a better idea of what uh, I can place on towards the top and all that stuff. But the ganes are all open. The clownfish are in the, the ganis, hosting them. The ganis are hosting the clownfish. Um, trying to get rid of these torches here. And yeah, just trying to make this build as clean as possible. So this is like day one of this section. This is one year of this section. Um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Any comments, any questions, let me know. Oh man, I want to put the. I really want to put that Colorado Sunburst in there. I already know it's gonna move, so we're not doing that. We're not. We're not doing that again. Um, but yeah, we're gonna clear up all this section and make it really clean. Yeah, thanks for watching. All love the support. Appreciate all you guys. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.